I am Dr. Anantha Yambe, Professor of Civil Engineering Department, SUAT Bangalore. Today we will see one problem on bending moment and shear force uh, calculations. It is of module 3 of Shanta Patel subject. Now the problem is draw SFD and BMD, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the beam shown in the figure below. See this is the figure, here one simply support, simply support, this is overhang from here to here for 4 meter length UDL is there 45 kilo newton per meter along with this one moment is there 30 kilo newton per meter 30 kilo newton meter and a point load is there at the free end 30 13.5 kilo newton then we will do the solution of this again I draw this figure let see there is a moment of 30 kilo newton meter along with the load along with other loads when coupling is there See first our step is we have to calculate the reactions VA and VB. How much load comes for this support? How much load comes for this support? That is the first calculation. First we will calculate reactions VA and VB. Reactions, reactions VA and VB reactions VA and VB. See this we will calculate from applying the fundamental static equations. First we will calculate the summation of moments of all the forces about point A equal to 0. Summation of the moments about point A should be equal to 0. What is sign convention? All the clockwise rotations we will take it as positive and all negative rotations we will uh, anti-clockwise rotations we will take it as negative. This is the sign convention. For example, uh, the moment of this UDL, I am holding at A and this load is UDL is acting downward. The moment of UDL is tries to rotate the beam in clockwise direction. Therefore, it is plus. What is the moment of this UDL? UD, total UDL is 45 into 4 into its CG distance is 2, 4 by 2. Therefore, the moment about point is the total load acts at the CG of the UDL. Therefore, 45 into 4 into 2, it will it will create clockwise about here therefore it is plus Ready? that is 45 into 4 into 2 45 into 4 into cg distance is 2 it is it will create clockwise hence it is plus again the moment is 30 kilo newton it is clockwise clockwise means positive 30 see here for the moment we are not not necessary to multiply with any distance if the clockwise moment means we will take with sign positive, if anti-clockwise means we will take with the negative sign, only that we have to do, no, not necessary to, it is not required or it is not right to multiply the moment with some distance, moment is nothing but couple, if it is clockwise you provide with plus sign, if it is anti-clockwise you provide with minus sign, that is all, therefore as it is I taken 30. Next. This VB will create about A anti-clockwise moment about A. This VB will create anti-clockwise moment about A. Therefore, what is the moment? Force into perpendicular distance from here. From here to here the distance is 6 meter. Therefore, minus VB into 6. Minus VB into 6. Next, we will take one more load 37 kilo newton, uh, 37.5 kilo newton. It will create clockwise about A. If you hold it at A, apply this load, it will create clockwise about this A. Therefore, the moment is 37.5 into distance from A. It is 4 plus 2, 6 plus 7. Therefore, it will create positive 37.5 into 7 equal to 0. From this, only one unknown we can calculate that VB becomes 108.75 kilo newton. 75 kilo newton 108.75 kilo newton next we have to calculate va what is the next condition we have to apply it is sigma v equal to 0 that means summation of all the vertical forces should be equal to 0 but it's upward forces positive downward forces negative see now what all are the forces are va is upward we will take it as positive this UDL is downward. What is the total intensity of the UDL? 45 into 4 downward minus. 45 into 4 downward minus. 
moment is not taken in the calculation of sigma v equal to 0 you leave this moment any moment anti clockwise or clockwise is there you not know, take into consideration in the sigma v equal to 0 we will neglect this 30 kilo term v b is upward plus v b v b is upward next 37.5 kilo newton is downward 37.5 kilo newton is downward you substitute v b equal to here 108.75 from from you are getting v a equal to also 108.75 kilo newton both are same we got in this problem 108.75 here also 108.75 kilo newton that is the first step first step we have to calculate the reactions V A and V B. Now, let us calculate uh, the shear force. How to calculate the shear force? Next step is shear force calculations. Shear force calculations. Next step is shear force calculations. Shear force calculations. If point load is there, I am taking to the left of the point load, to the left or right of the point load. If point loads are not there, we will take at the point only. Now, we will calculate shear force. Here it is a point load with the knife edge. I am calculating to the left and to the right. Here also I am calculating to the left and right. Here also I am calculating to the left and right. Let us start from shear force at A left. Now, my section line is here. My section line is left of A, left of A, again I am taking the left portion for our shear force calculation, we have the section line, left of the section line, upward forces positive, downward forces negative, this is the sign convention we have, upward forces positive, downward forces negative to the left of the section, see here, left of A there is no beam itself, therefore the shear force is 0, shear force is 0, now we will take shear force at shear force at a right a right now my section line is just right of a just right of a i have to consider the left portion left portion to a the left of this one upward force is there 108.75 km to the left upward forces are positive therefore we will take it as uh, a right is 108.75 kilo newton kilo newton next we will see shear force at c shear force at c shear force at c why i am not taking at right and left it is not point load it is the end of the udl therefore in the shear force calculation you don't take moment also moment is not taken into consideration leave it therefore shear force at c it is the end of the udl shear force at c now my section line is here now my section line is at c here I have to consider full left forces, upward plus downward minus. What all are the upward forces? One VA is upward, VA is 108.75. Next UDL is downward, minus it is 45 into 4, minus 45 into 4. Therefore, to the left of the section, there is only two loads we taken into consideration now. It becomes nearly minus 71.25 kilonewton minus 75.25 kilo newton now we will take shear force at b left shear force at b left shear force at b left because it is the point load now i am taking the section line here left of a, b just left of b i have to consider all the forces left of that section treating upward positive downward negative shear force at b left what are all the forces are there va is there upward plus minus downward udl is there udl is there it is uh, minus 45 into 4 45 into 4 any other force is there left of this moment is not taken into consideration in the shear force as well as sigma v equal to 0 only moment we have to take now to the left of this only these forces are there vb is not there because section line is left of b it is same it is minus 71.25 kilo newton minus 71.25 kilo newton now 
the shear force at b right shear force at b right shear force at b right now my section line is right of b my section line is here right of b i have to consider all these forces left of this section line upward positive downward negative so, upward vi is upward 108.75 udl is downward total udl is 45 into 4 downward minus 45 into 4 downward next the section line is right means i have to consider all the forces vb also comes into picture vb is upward plus 108.75 that is shear force at b right is 37.5 Kilo newton, thirty-seven point five kilo newton. Now I have to calculate shear force at D left. Shear force at D left. Shear force at D left. D left means now my section line uh, uh, came here. My section line is here now. Left of D. Left of D. I have to consider all the forces left, upward positive, downward. negative moment is not taken into consideration but d is not taken now load that is done because section line is left therefore i am writing upward plus downward minus now upward is va is upward va is upward it is 108.75 next udl is downward 45 into 4 moment is not taken vb is upward Plus one not eight point seven five. Only that forces because left of this section. Therefore, it also comes thirty seven point five. Thirty seven point five kilonewton. Now I have to calculate what is the shear force D right right of D now. Now section line is here right of D. I have to consider all the forces left of this treating upward positive, downward negative. Again, I am writing. Shear force D right, shear force D right equals one not eight point seven five upward downward is minus forty five into four plus V B moment is not taken into consideration one not eight point seven five minus thirty seven point five that equal to zero. I calculated the shear force at salient point at E A. C, B, and D. Now I have to draw the shear force diagram. I have to draw the shear force diagram. Now I am uh, drawing the shear force diagram. For drawing, I want to draw a what a reference line. I have to draw a reference line on which the values are zero. Above positive values I am marking. Below this I am marking negative values. A left means A. This is the point A. Again, this is the point B. This is the point D. This is the point C. A, B, C, C, C point. You see, A, B, C, D point. At A, shear force is zero. A left is zero. A right is one not eight. Means the shear force varies from zero to one not eight. One not eight point seven five. One not eight point seven five. Again, shear force at the C is how much? Minus seventy-one point two five. Minus means downward. Minus seventy-one point two five. This is seventy-one point two five. Again, you see here the vary the from A to C there is A to C there is UDL. Therefore, the variation of the shear force is inclined straight line. If point loads are there, it is constant horizontal line. If UDL is there, it is inclined. straight line inclined straight line inclined straight line from here to here i have to join it is a inclined straight line it is not curved it is a inclined straight line next shear force at b left shear force is b left is minus 71 point same it is c left is minus 71 point and so it is horizontal no udl is there Here it is seventy one point two five kilo newton. This also kilo newton. This also kilo newton. Next B right is it varies from minus seventy one point two five to B right is thirty seven thirty 
seven. It varies from minus to plus thirty seven kilo newton. Again, what is d left? D left also thirty seven point five. Thirty seven point five kilo newton. D left is d left is also thirty seven point five kilo newton here. Plus thirty seven point two five. Thirty seven point five kilo newton here at d left. D right is zero means it varies from thirty seven point five kilo newton to zero at d. So this is above this line is positive shear force. Below this is negative shear force. If you want, you can catch this positive below is negative. Is it is called shear force diagram SFD. This is called SFD shear force diagram. SFD shear force diagram. Now we will calculate what is the bending moment values. Then you draw the bending moment. Diagram. Next calculation is bending moment calculations. Bending moment calculations. Now I am writing that once again that figure is not visible. We will write this figure now. This point is A, V A, one not eight point one not V A is one not eight point seven five kilo newton. U D L is there. For four meter length, four meter length, this is forty five kilo newton per meter. Then V B is here. V B also we got same, one not eight point seven five kilo newton. This distance is two meter. Again, overhang is that it is of one meter thirty seven point five kilo newton. This load is. Thirty-seven point five kilo newton. This distance is one meter. This point is A. This point is B. This point is C. This point is D. Now we will calculate bending moment at various points. Now we will calculate at the simply supported end. The bending moment is zero. Therefore, bending moment at A equal to zero. Or you take a section here. If you consider left of the section, what is the sign convention? To the left of the section, clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative. If you take a section at A and this is consider the moment to the left of this, no beam itself. Therefore, bending moment at A equal to zero. Next, we will calculate what is the bending moment at. See, one uh, rotation is there. One moment is there. You don't leave this. In the moment only, we have to see this. This is 30 kilo newton meter. If moment is there, you remember. If moment is there at any point, we have to calculate the moment once considering this moment and without considering this moment, or left of this section or right of this section bending moment. Therefore, if it is moment is there in the bending moment calculation, you take to the left and right or once without considering and considering the Moment bending moment C left C left means my section line is here now left of C left of C means moment is acting at here only moment is acting here it is left of this means this moment is not considered in the first case moment is not considered in the first case now I have to consider the left portion V A will create clockwise moment about this point it is one not eight point seven five Into four, into four. Next, this UDL downward UDL will create anti-clockwise moment about this section. What is the anti-clockwise moment? Forty-five into four into four by two. Four by two. It is minus anti-clockwise. Forty-five into four into four by two. 
VA will create clockwise about this. This downward load will create anti-clockwise. It is 45 into 4 into 4 by 2. It is equal to 75 kilo newton meter. 75 kilo newton meter. Now, bending moment C right. C right means considering this moment. Now, my section line is here. My section line is right of C. Right of C. I have to consider that moment also. I have to consider that moment also. That time it is same 108.75 into 4. This distance is 4 clockwise. Again, this anti clockwise only. It is minus 45 into 4 into CG distance is 4 by 2. Next, this moment is clockwise, therefore, it will take plus. No distance, nothing. The intensity we have to take it is plus therefore the value uh, value is 105 105 kilo newton meter 105 kilo newton meter next bending moment at b bending moment at b means my section line is here now at b i have to consider all the forces left of this va will create clockwise moment about b it is 108.75 into 4 plus 2 is the distance 6 6 next minus the udl total udl is 45 into 4 into into its cg distance from b it is 2 plus half of 4 it is 2 by 2 2 plus 2 by 2 2 plus 2 by 2 next this will clockwise moment 30 clockwise moment 30 at b it is equal to 30, minus 37.5 kilo newton meter 0.5 kilo newton meter now bending moment at d bending moment at d at the extreme end the bending moment if you calculate also at this the bending moment is zero bending moment at T equal to 0. Now I calculated bending moment A, A left, A right, B and D. I calculated the bending moments. Now I have to draw the bending moment diagram. For drawing bending moment diagram, one reference line I want. On this all the values are 0. Above values are positive. Below values are negative. Now at A is 0. Bending moment at this point is A. This point is B. This point is D. This point is C. Now, at A is 0, at C left is 75 kN. 75 kN meter. 75 kN meter. This value. Here, from here to here uh, is UDL. The shear force is inclined straight line, but the bending moment is parabola. The bending moment is parabola, parabolic variation. Again, C right. C right is 1.5. Means it varies at that section from 75 kN to 105 kN meter. 105 kN meter. This value. This value. Because at C left is 75. C right is 105. Means it is the same point but suddenly it changes. Suddenly it changes. Bending moment at B is minus 37 means below. 30. 7 kilonewton meter 37.5 kilonewton meter 37.5 kilonewton meter therefore the shear force variation is constant but the bending moment variation is inclined straight line if point loads are there if point loads are there next bending moment at d is 0 is it 0 0 means on the line on the line now I draw the bending moment diagram. Above value is positive, below is negative. If you want to hack this, you can hack this. Values. Values you can hatch. Negative is below. This is the negative bending moment. It is called BMD, bending moment diagram. Now we draw for this given problem both shear force and bending moment diagram. Here you see here, here bending moment is 0, 
this point is called point of contra flexure contra flexure where bending moment is zero here bending moment is zero here on the uh, given bending moment diagram therefore uh, this is how we have to draw shear force bending moment diagrams if including in the problem one couple is also there couple is also there that is the speciality of this problem